Hi everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today I'm going to be doing Naruto and Sasuke uh, at the end of their final battle at the end. So where they their arms are cut off and um, they're lying next to one another. So it's a pretty complicated one because we have two characters and like their arms and things like that. So take your time. Use a pencil and an eraser definitely for this one. Um, so we have Sasuke here, his body diagonal coming down here. Naruto body diagonal coming down the other way. So we will start. Let's see. We will start with. We will start with Naruto. So we'll start on this side. And we'll start with his head. So body going diagonal this way. His two eyes diagonal up here. So he's looking off this way. Sasuke is looking off that way. So we'll start with uh, Naruto's left eye. So it's about here. And we'll do the top eyelid. Like this. So his, his other eye is up, up this direction. It's not straight across. So then under that eyelid we have his iris. Curves around. Like this. And then the pupil inside. And then the rest of his eye comes down beside that, back under, over to there. Now, so he has, um, he's been in his fight with Sasuke. So his other eye over here, about an eye distance, is like, he's got a big fat eye. So uh, it's like a V shape. So the top eyelid goes down, and then that comes back like that. And then the pupil and iris are inside. See like that? And then we can just see his eyelid in there. Just like that. So it's like he's, you know, he's been boxed in the face repeatedly. <laughs> so then, <clears throat> so then his nose comes down there and then back this way and then his eyebrow goes off here touches his hair one eyebrow that way touches a spike for his hair just here Right, sure. So we'll do uh, his the rest of his hair just here. So spiking, just in around here. Spikes up, spikes out. And we'll go the whole way around. We might as well. Might make the rest of it a bit easier. Take it slow, because this is not an easy one. Spikes down, spiking up. So we're going to round those eyes, see? Like that. Remember, hair moves, so just if you get the general shape, you should be okay. Spiking up now, back towards his eye there. Another spike for his hair just there. Here. Spike coming down beside that eye we did, just like that. This one goes back up then. And this one comes back down to there. And then his other eyebrows just in here. You can just see two lines just for his eyebrow like that. Now, so. <laughs> So we'll do in the general shape for his face and then deal with the nose and stuff. So coming down from this eye, just the side of this eye here. So we'll have the side of his face curving down. Kind of like that. And then this will come across for his chin. And 
and then his jaw. And then this will come up towards his ear. So his jaw is there. So it's real wide. And because we can see the underneath of his neck, we're gonna add another layer to that chin. Just going this way. <laughs> kind of like that. And then his ear then is in here. And there's bones and ligaments and things inside. All right, so. So we'll go back up, we can just see just some more of his eyebrow, just his eyelid just here. And then his nose comes down. And then he has his nostrils just below that. So curving one like a V and then another one curving this way like that and then he has a big smile on his face because uh, Sasuke has admitted defeat so they're like underneath his eye big smile right so like there underneath his eye so it's like curves that way so underneath this eye, right there. And then we have to add those uh, lines on his face that he has. So one, two, three. And then on the other side, we can't see all of them. So just one, two, three. And then just a line for like his bottom lip, just there. And we can see some hair spikes just here. And some behind his head. Just there. And he has various uh, scratch marks and things just like on his face and there's like all dried blood and all stuff like that from the fight. So especially around his eye. So like we can add those in. So see around his eye, I'm just making it real dark. I'm adding scratch marks and things. Just with my marker. You could do it with shading and pencil. Or of course afterwards. Some coming down from his lip as well. Dry blood and things. So you could do as much of that as you felt like you needed to do. Um, but that's the basic idea. So then his neck will come down here. And then the other side will come down here, curving out. And then we have um, his collarbone and the, the, his t-shirt and stuff. So. So his neck comes down to about there and then we start the collar of his t-shirt just here curves all around so his body going this way and in there we can see his collar bones
for his neck muscle in there and some more sort of lines for neck muscles here and coming down from his jaw as well it's down there Right, so we're gonna draw the we'll draw the trunk of his body and then deal with the arms because I think it's easier that way. So his body's going this way. So we'll go a line out like this, and we'll do a line, a curving line for his chest, coming down to here, right? And then this will curve out for his his torso all the way this way. Right, so imagine this is the middle line of his body. Imagine that's his spine running down here, right? So it's the middle of his trunk. So then his other arm and t-shirt are ripped. So this comes out, zigzag lines all the way. Following this direction, same direction. Right? And then this comes down, bumping all the way out like that. And then we're gonna join these two sections together with a wavy line for the bottom of his t-shirt. Okay. Then he has, we can see his trousers just under here. So a line down there goes off my page. The line there goes off my page. <coughs> his belt just comes across. Leave a button right about here. And that line for the belt. And then the middle lines for the center of his trousers. One going that way. One coming this way. Like this. Line across. Lines for his pockets. Just here. And then sort of various lines for uh, folding, sort of shadows for his trousers, the clothes that are folded, done with hatching. Of course, if you were coloring, you could do it with just a darker color. Right, his, his, his arm coming out this side, comes down shoulder. Comes down this way for a bump for the shoulder. This becomes his bicep, so it curves that way then. And then goes off my page, and then in here, just at his armpit, see where that line bumps, where the chest becomes the, the abdomen. This curves down. All the way pumps in a bit and goes off my page there. Right, so his arm that's cut off. So we need to just finish the sleeve here first, like this. And then, so his shoulder comes out, like just like this one, except it's like this direction. So you're following this line because he's lying diagonal. He's not straight. So it curves down there. And then it's gonna come down and stop because his arm's cut off. And we have those cuts and things just all in here. All around for that bottom part. And then this comes back up for where his tricep would be just here all the way up to his armpit and then his armpit comes in and we have a bit of shadow just there for that maybe you can see just the inside of his t-shirt just in here too yeah some of his body right there now down here this is all dark real dark you can see like um, uh, maybe some white sections for bone and things. But this is mostly coloured in black. Real dark. Uh, 
and of course there is uh, various marks going on his arm for blood and like I guess burns and things so like kind of bubbles coming up and then they're all dark inside <laughs> so see these kind of cloudy kind of shapes and then there's kind of dark inside too just with scratch sort of hatching like this and there's some like, like scratch marks on his arm hatching under here lots of that kind of stuff okay on his on his t-shirt we have his collar, so his collar is real big. So it's dark. It's all shaded in. And then he has um, those crisscross marks on his shirt. So we can see just the line for his chest just coming across here. Up, kind of his diaphragm, you know. And then he has those, like those cross marks. So like one, you go across this way first. And you're just kind of trying to follow the shape of his body. So going across and then they kind of down that way. All the way. So we're going diagonal all across. And then the, the other ones will go the other way. So it keeps going all the way down in a diagonal pattern. Kind of um, <clears throat> like a net. Like this and there's some up here too. These ones are kind of bumpy. And then we go the other way. So okay, so he also has uh, this sort of shape on his arm as well. So it's a bit easier than this one. It's just curving this way first. And then we go this direction. Like that. Like that. And there's various scratch marks, battle marks, etc. all over hatching etc okay then there is that big just puddle of blood coming from his arm and of course all in there is dark okay so we'll jump over now and we'll do uh, Sasuke so um, like Naruto so their eyes are about the same level so, if you use the ruler, go across like that. And Sasuke's eye, so his eye starts out here. So he's going this way then. Curve around for the top eyelid. And then the bottom one comes around like this. And then his pupils inside. It's just black in there. So then his top eyelid then goes around that. Like this. And we can see a little bottom one. Just here. And then his nose then is just in here. Comes down. 
comes around to there and then his nostrils in there that uh, above above this we can see just a spike for hair so it comes hair goes around like this and then his eyebrows in there that he's a little slice of hair coming down there's one strand of hair there and then down from this eye diagonal down we're gonna do his eye is closed and there's tears coming out of it so we do a line like this and then we have his eyelid just above that and then a bottom one there and his eyebrows just above there as well and then his hair his comes fringe comes down all around that one comes down beside that eyebrow and then comes down uh, beside that eye and around like this Here, just here and then back here so like Naruto we'll do his hair first and then we'll come around and do the shape for his face so his hair comes down here comes around those two eyes spikes lots of different spikes coming out like this one up comes around and then this comes around to the other side so it comes around Spike up, spike up here, um, spike out. If I go too fast, pause the video, help yourself out. Spike this way, this way. This one comes down, spiking all the way. This comes. Yeah, this comes right behind his neck here. So, so his face comes around his jaw, just like kind of like Naruto, except facing the other direction. So, so his hair here, and then you can see his ear in under here actually. Just some lines in there for his ear, and then his jaw comes down to here, and then comes across. All the way and then around up like this <laughs> we can see his other ear just in there <clears throat> so he's not smiling like Naruto he well, kind of is but it's it's just under his nose and he has we can see his top lip just coming across it's like a box kind of shape And it's kind of a thick line <laughs> like that bottom lip it's just there and then a line for that bottom lip just here as well now so Sasuke's eye has just um, kind of tears coming out of it down here and then it's got all hatching and dark it's like a black eye as well it's all blood and everything coming down that eye scratch marks on his face some blood on the side of his mouth
Right, so his neck then comes down beside his hair. Just uh, beside his, yeah, beside his hair and his jaw, just here. So it curves this way. And then the other side's kind of the same. Curves that way. We can see his some neck muscles just here. And there's some like hatching underneath his his neck here just for like shadow. So it's like the muscles of his neck. Some more hair over here. Um and his collarbones. So one going across that way, the other one going across this way. <clears throat> and then he's got his jacket with a big collar, so it all comes down this way to a V and then comes back up the other side. Like that. This one will come down behind his shoulders and his neck, just here, around to his hair. Some fold lines for clothes. Various hatching. Uh, this could probably <laughs> be split up into two videos, it'll be so long. This one here, this one. Collar comes around. We can just see his uh, chest muscles just here. So just some lines for that. Scratched up as well. Hatching in here. Uh, so the outside of his collar here comes down like that, a bit ripped, tattered, hatching on it. And then his shoulder will come off here. The side narratives come off shoulder bumps down and then with the inside of his jacket just here so there's all sort of fold lines for his armpit for his clothes like that diagonal coming in down here to his the bottom of his sleeve which is all ripped and torn all across like this and this will come back up into his arm. Scratch marks and things on that too. Burn marks, various stains. So just scratching all that up. Uh, you could do as much of that as you want. So you might come back at the end, maybe add more. Um, We'll just sketch it all in first anyway so his um his sleeve comes down and meets uh the skin of his arm the flesh that's cut off so it's like a tube comes around just like naruto's one really maybe some light parts and then all dark in there And again, stains of blood, burns, all that stuff. Various lines to show that dark sections of his skin. And then his sleeve just comes around in here, dark inside, hatched. Kind of like that. And then of course he has a puddle of blood coming around from his arm as well speed up because this video is going to be so long <laughs> so uh, yeah so that's dark then inside as well right so we'll finish his body coming down from his arm so just here we have 
fold for the inside of his body comes down here. Uh, another fold comes out here. Comes in. Another bump here and then down off my page there. And then we have the middle of his jacket, so it comes down like this, two lines, one here, one here off my page, another one just beside that, and then a zipper just here. Uh, his other shoulder comes off over here, down this way, and then folds for clothes just coming up towards his arm in there. Various hatching and darker parts coming across the middle there. Just to give the clothes kind of some bumps and stuff. And then, of course, there's all stains and things on them. And that's pretty much Sasuke. I'll probably, I'll colour in his um, hair and I'll add some details to the background. But that's the basic idea. Uh, the basic idea. That is, that is a tough one. Um, fair play to anyone who followed along. Uh, but I'll be back after I add some more detail. So anyway, I got carried away again, <coughs> added some details just for the stone and some shadows and things that they're on the ground behind them. So uh, there it is, Naruto and Sasuke. Uh, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.